Hi, this is Peter at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today we're going to continue with our item classes. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And I'm going to go down to my scripts and open up items and create a new C sharp script. Now this one will be our jewelry class. And just double click it to open up modern development. Make sure I change the name. And we're not going to inherit from mono behavior. We're going to inherit from buff item. So I'll get rid of the start and the update. And system collection. I'll be keeping a Unity engine for debugs if I want them later on. So if we go back and look at buff item, we'll notice that we're already keeping track of all the different buffs that we're going to be having in a hash table. So all we really have to do here is just keep track of uh, what jewelry slot we're, we're using for this item. So I'm going to make an enumeration down here, and it will be public. And I'm just going to call it jewelry slot. I'm going to keep mine fairly basic. I'm just going to say earrings. Necklace. Bracelet. Rings. Let's keep them all plural. And I'll do one more for a pocket item something they can just carry to carry around on them so up here I'm just going to create a private jewelry slot and I'm just going to call that slot and this is just to store what slot this piece of jewelry is going to be in And we'll just set the accessors for it so it's public setter and getter well we should set a default constructor as well and we'll just start it off as a necklace so every item actually let's start it off as every item defaults to being a pocket item so slot is equal to jury slot dot pocket item and we're going to make a overloaded version so when we load our jewelry up from a database we can tell it right away when it's being created what slot it's supposed to be so I'll just simply call this uh, jewelry slot uh, I'm going to call this slot, and since up here it's private, I like to put the little underscore in front of it to remind me. So down here I can just say slot is equal to slot without the underscore. So now we'll just set the accessors. And that's just a simple get and a set. We're just going to return the slot. And we're going to assign the slot the value passed. And that's pretty much it for the jewelry class. Uh, next, we're going to be moving on to clothing. I'll see you then. Bye bye.